Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages where we last left off uh, we had a crazy demon experience uh, we went to hell a bunch of times uh, it wasn't very fun but now we are essentially going to be uh, getting some rope and I don't mean the enemy rope I mean like actual rope um, which is pretty interesting to say the least um, how do you do it actually? I think you have to go in the past, funnily enough. I guess kind of makes sense, because here's the cursed rock. We must pray to the cursed rock. Must pray. Um, but yeah, so essentially what we need to do is we need to go into the past. Um, I thought we had to go into the present, but apparently not. Um, and essentially what we'll be doing is... Uh, We'll go to the past, interact with Ralph, Ralph will say some nonsense, and then yeah. Uh, I hope you've all been enjoying the random glitches. I'm gonna maybe try to do some comment questions of the day. Uh, so the comment question of the day so far is what's been your favorite joke that I've done in this series? There's probably not many, so uh, if this video somehow blows up, like this series rather, because it's a very glitchy game. Uh, and there's a lot of people, uh, I feel like a lot of people are just going to be like, Oh, the first tree joke. Or, welcome to hell. Honestly, I think that might be one of my favorites. Is, uh, oh man, I can't wait for you to go to the underworld. And then immediately gain corruption. Should be somewhere here, right? Maybe it's to the side. I remember him saying something. Or maybe it's on the way back up. Like you talked to this kiddo here and he's like, Oh, I wish I could make rafts. I'm rafting. My dream is to make the finest rafts that can sail the seas. If only I had a rope that won't decay in water, I could make my raft. I just can't find any. There's a fellow named Shevel on the east edge who of town who's working on such a rope, but I don't think it's done yet. Yeah, so that that's the clue. And then Ralph comes in at some point and he's like, oh, rope like that. Yeah, I've heard of that shit. Um, I felt like he talked to you, though. Maybe you have to physically talk to Shevel and then, and then uh, he comes to you. Because Shevel's over here. Oh, this is actually, I think, cool. I'm Shovel. I am researching items for use in water. Before I die, I want to finish my work on flippers for swimming and rope that will decay in water. I hope to aid all the people of the world by inventing such things. And then here, here's Ralph. Oh, hey, Link! Are you looking for something? Or what? Huh? Shovel rope? <laughs> I know that name. Yeah, I've seen it in a grave in our own time. That has that name on it. But anyway, other than graves... Uh, I want to engage, uh, I want to be engaged, yeah, with, uh, Nehru, so, uh, I don't have time to chat, I'm busy trying to get my Riz on. Yep, that's the joke we're going with for that one. Okay, and off we go. We, I think, now need to go back into the future. So, off we go, and I think now might be the time you might, uh, you're able to buy the, um, the flute. Also, I like how you can't even see the full animation of, uh, Link standing there. The green flow of time hits him. And then he's gone. Okay, there has to be something wrong. Huh, that's so weird. Hmm. 
Well, we can't go to that. That's literally a repeat of another room in uh, Seasons. Huh, I never thought about that actually. Yet again, the game is glitched the fuck out. Actually, we want it like that. Hehe, <laughs> this guy's shocked. Let's shock him some more, eh? G -g Ghost, help! Bree, why is that weirdo here? What are you looking at? We'll shock you too! Fucking so good as go. Don't, don't eat me, I taste awful! The ghosts are all gone, did you chase them away? Thank you. I'm Moosh, maybe I can help you out. Claim upon my back. Tap A to hover, or charge A for a ground pound. But I hate fucking water, I can't swim. Even shallow stuff is one thing, but I can't take deep water, so be careful. Um, so essentially the only thing you do with this guy is, uh, a tap A minigame. Here we go into the diseased waters of death itself. Uh, I think you need this. And now everything is good again! You can jump two tiles. But usually it only works if uh, the tiles are not like that. Because you need a little bit of the walking to essentially be able to do stuff. But uh, here's where you get the Zora Flippers, which, you know, universally incredible item in Zelda. So we can now swim, which now means we can get the Cheval Rope, which is also situated in the same area. But this is what I mean, right? Like, in between each dungeon, you get, like, such useful tools. Uh, you don't get the ability to swim until around the fourth dungeon in Seasons. Uh, and I actually kind of like Seasons for that, the fact that they hold off on extremely useful items until later on. Oh, God. The tombs! Every single time we do a loading zone, I, for I forget how bad it gets. You found what you were looking for? I'm glad I could help. See you around. I think we have the good end. I don't know how it works, but uh, usually Moosh will actually give you a horn. Um, And he'll be like, oh, we could be friends. But I think the fact that he didn't means that uh, we might be able to buy the horn now. God damn it, shopkeep. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, what we can... Oh, right. It's probably afterwards. I think, actually, the... You can get A, B, or C. I think we are on... I think we're on Dimitri path. And Dimitri is the one you want. Because Dimitri is the most useful. Um, We can finally go over here. I don't really think there's much over here. By the way, there's that ocean water is actually like too deep for us to deal with. Or at least the currents are too deep. Um, kind of annoying that there isn't any teleportation thing here. I feel like that would have been really useful. But that's fine. Um, we'll teleport and then I'll take a short break and then we'll get back. We'll take this route and we'll uh, talk to the Maku Tree and see what she has to say. I feel an essence of time on Crescent Island in the South Sea. Be careful crossing the sea, okay? Don't want you to... Get teleported into Link's Awakening, that would be weird, <laughs> wouldn't it? That'd be so weird. Okay. What we need to do now is present the Cheval Rope. 
Uh, I think, funnily enough, if you talk to Cheval, he doesn't really do anything. Like, he doesn't really have anything to say, which is interesting. Probably because, you know, they probably didn't think that you would actually do it. I think he says maybe something. Hey, that's it! With that shovel rope, I could finish my raft. Let me have that rope, please. Yeah, sure, man. Thank you. Tell you what, you can be the first to ride my raft when it's done. We will need a chart, because you know, you don't want to fucking die. So go get a chart in the meantime. I'll be back in a second. Okay, now we are back. Ooh, it's Ralph, as I was saying before. Well, if it isn't Link. Dawdling around as usual. What are you doing, huh? You need an island sh island shot. I've heard that weird guy sells. <laughs> I heard that weird guy has sea charts to the secret isle. What do you want? <laughs> I'm too busy trying to save Nehru to help you. See ya. Nehru. It's so weird that he plays off like being like this like, oh, I'm the real hero. Like, you don't know what it's like being a hero and trying to save Nehru. But then he, like, is also just crying about, like, obviously, you know, he's lost a friend. But, like, it's so weird for him to be like, huh, what do you know? Nehru. It just feels really weird. Uh, but we're really getting into our adventure here, which I really, I find really nice. I always felt like that guy talked to you for some reason. Uh, we could get a ring appraised, but I don't really feel like there's much need to. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, I think we're I think we're on the, the, the Dimitri path. So Ricky should be over here, or maybe down here, or around this general vicinity. Because Ricky is the one who can climb up those big areas. So he should be somewhere. As long as you don't get Moosh, it's good. Where the fuck is Ricky? There he is. Oh, I'm Ricky. Usually I can clear holes and cliffs with my patented jump. But I'm just not in a good mood today. Well, right now you see that uh, I've lost my precious gloves. I think I left them by the tree on the beach, but I can't seem to find them. If only a nice guy would help me out. Tingle up there. I'm a nice guy, but I'm actually a dickhead, so I don't want to help him. I wonder if I wonder if there's like a massive amount of racism in uh in, uh, in Zelda, because like you think that there might be, right? Because like you know, um. You know, Zora go on and you know stuff like that. Like, surely there's like some sort of racism. Cause uh, I know that uh, in Breath of the Wild, the advisor guy is kind of racist against Hy Hylians. Like he has prejudice against them. So it really brings up like, do the races actually like each other? Are there like certain races that hate other races? It, like obviously they wouldn't get into it, but it's it's interesting to think about. Hey, my gloves, you found them. Thanks. Now I'll be able to help you find what you're looking for. Hop them into my pocket. Press A to punch or build up power to police in a tornado. I can also jump small holes or cliffs. I like Ricky. It might just be that Ricky 1 is one of the simplest ones. Uh, not as simple as Dimitri. Dimitri is literally the most simple. But uh, he's used perfectly in seasons because... um. In Seasons, you don't get the jumping ability until the third dungeon. Ha, green clothes, are uh, you smitten with the forest fairies? My name is Tingle, and I'm the, the one and only. I am a true fairy. The villagers say that at 35, I should open my eyes, but I say Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. How would you like t t Tingle? Yeah, sure, why not? Then from today, you and Tingle are friends. Yes, yes, as a sign of our friendship, Tingle will give you his chart that shows the way to the secret island. Well, I'm actually kind of a cool guy. 
It's an island shot. You can now navigate the seas. Come back anytime you wish to see Tingle. If you get more mystical seeds, something good may happen. Tingle, Tingle, Kolo Lumpa. These are the magic words that Tingle created it myself. Don't steal them. Like, I guess you found what you were looking for. This is just between you and me, but I can't stand this guy. So I'll see you later. Hey yo! I love fucking Moosh. Not Moosh, uh. I love him. So fun to talk to. But essentially, if you do get magical seeds, I think you can get a increase to your seed satchel. It's one of those upgrades where it's like, oh, neat, that's nice, but it's not like game determinative. Uh, but it is really nice. I like Tingle in this game. He's not overbearing. I feel like in Majora's Mask, they made him kind of really annoying because like you had to do it like so many times. But when it's like, oh, hey, you know, like, haha, funny, I'm like really old. Or, like, you know, I'm in my midlife and I'm, you know, being silly and being a fairy guy. Like, you know, it's, it's played the best in this game because one, you barely see him. And two, he's kind of just around literally just doing what he likes, which is making maps and charts and shit. And he isn't being, like, massively creepy either. He's just, you know, different, kooky and funny kind of thing, which I really like. It, it a really adds a lot to this game. <sighs> now we'll finally be able to sail across the sea. I do think that this is one of the best parts of the game. Uh, because there's so much back and forth, like, literally you're going through time, back and forth, back and forth, to be able to do something that seems so simple, but when you think about it, like, this is way more stuff than you had to do in fucking Zelda. Hey, what took you so long? My la raft is ready, so come over here. Shove off, uh, from there, the raft awaits. Climb on top and mo uh, press the buttons to move. Okay, so we now have the ability to move around, which uh, I always liked to move around these areas first. Uh, I just simply see what the world had to offer. Um, like, oh, I wonder what that thing is, and you know, stuff like that. I always thought it was really neat. And here's a pirate ship, which is pretty cool. Then uh, some other stuff, but like it's really cool to be able to see um, a bunch of uh, the map uh, without having to, because like, obviously you know eventually you'll get the item that allows you to uh, go through all of this area safely and shit. But for now you can't do that, which is why it's so cool that you can uh, kind of explore a lot. I think up is fine. Oh wait, no, up was not fine. God damn, the tornado. Hello everybody and welcome to Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. We're gonna have a great time and we're gonna watch this cutscene. So uh, Link is on a raft or something, and he's going through this, like, thunderous terrain. Then he wakes on this island, and there's, like, five toke, and yeah, they, he gets mugged. It's crazy. But right now, he's just dreaming, of course. And yeah, there's Marin. Shaken Link to see if he's alive, which is a very fair response, honestly. And yeah. Link's Awakening, baby. It's so bad, even the monkeys. We got mugged! Got fucking mugged. And that's why this is the best part of the game. I hope you liked the little uh, meme kind of thing I put in there. Uh, I guess it's called Headcanon. 
Uh, but yeah, this essentially is like the uh, general idea we have uh, of the game. Um, not sure how you get that one. But uh, yeah. Oh, here we go, shovel. I found this by the sea. It was next to a toke with no tail. Hey, you, you don't have a tail either. Oh, is... Uh, take this. I don't need it. That's all I picked up, but maybe other toke took stuff too. Uh, but maybe not. Maybe you should look around. Please don't hurt me. I love the toke so much. Toke are, like, so funny. So now that we have done that, we can finally do this. Which means we can get our sword back. Hey, you're the one who I... Uh, glad you came. I was thinking maybe I should hide... I mean, maybe I should go give this back to you. <laughs> Please don't stab me. That's all I picked up, but maybe other people took shit too. I love this entire subplot so much. It makes you think about each and every item you have. But on top of that, just the fact that every single person's like, Yeah, I just fucking stole this from some... Oh, hi. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> it's so funny. I love the Toke. I think, unironically, the Toke are... Toke and Subrosians should come back. They are, unironically, some of the best original races in Zelda. I think your shield literally gets stolen permanently, funnily enough. Um, and if you see these things, uh, they're actually required. Uh, you can go into the future and the ship. Uh, if you push them against a thing, in the future they will grow. Uh, which is why I'm doing that. But yeah, this is a really fun section of the game. Um... That's right, this is for later on. This is, like, way later. But essentially, like, you're in this massive section now where you have to, like, um, get your shit back. Which is really fun. Um... So essentially, the way that this works is you have to get all of your ship back with uh, certain seeds and stuff. And to get those seeds, you have to actually do a bunch of shit. Um, so it's really fun because it means like, oh, which items do I want to focus on first? As you saw, you know, there's two ways you can go. One, uh, one has the... that heart just disappeared. Uh, like, see here, I need both items. So... Uh, that's where the harp is, so obviously we need to go there. And you're like, oh, I need bombs. And you won't actually be able to get bombs until you have the items. And shit like that. So there's actually a lot of thinking that you have to do. Um, if we go all the way to the back, though, there's another toke. So every item has a use. Essentially, the way that it works is... um. You will essentially, you can, I think the feather is the better one to start with. Because, uh, there's this puzzle. Um, what do you do from here? Yeah, that's right. Uh, it just gives you a gasha seed, but, you know, gasha seeds are useful. Uh, I think what you're meant to do is get the uh, power bracelet first. Um, is there any, like, actual shit down here? Oh, well, if I had a shovel, I would be able to check, but I don't. That's funny. Maybe you're meant to actually look around first. Yeah. But I really love this area. I think it's, like, the... Like, honestly, this is, like, one of the best puzzles ever done in a Zelda game. Like, they, like, give you a bunch of items, and then they're like, nope, you know what? Fuck your items. You don't get them anymore. And it makes you really appreciate everything but the shield. Like, that's why I want to see this game remade, but, like, respectfully remade. Not, like, Link's Awakening, that works for that game. It doesn't work for this game. 
But the problem is, is Nintendo doesn't give a shit. That's why this game is so glitchy. Um, because they're just like, oh, just port it. We don't care. We want money. Game Freak bad, but they also give us money. So basically, we uh, we trade everything for uh, shovels. One thing that's funny is the scent seeds are actually like. They're like literally like one of the big things you do is you get a scent seed tree. That's kind of like the entire mission. So it's really funny that he's just like, yeah, get, get me the scent seed. You know, that thing that's that's what that we're trying to get. That's really hard to get. I think this helps get you a bomb on wait. Yeah, right. You go to here so you get your bombs. I like how your bombs are just in the back of someone's house. But uh, the bombs are actually great because one, obviously there's a few areas that we saw that you need them. But they're like a perm- like with your sword, uh, these are a permanent upgrade. Like return. There's like a few items like the feather, uh, the feather and the rocks, uh, the rocks feather and the power bracelet. Like those come back and forth. But uh, things like the bomb will always be there, which is great. Ow. Oh shit, they took your Zora Flippers too, I forgot about that. That's like the most detrimental one. Um, I think you can do this. Nah, you can't even do this, that's crazy. Okay, so we're gonna need to really think about this. So I think that means that we need a rocks feather. So then we can do that. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to get through the entire sequence of this. Um, because it does actually take a little bit to do this sequence. Um, ooh, there's another bomb of a wall. But we should be able to get through the first part of it, which is getting to the harp. Welcome to the Wild Toke, a game room fit for all Toke. Today's prize is this. If you want this scent seedling, take to the Wild Toke challenge. It costs 10 rupees. Want to hear the rules? I like how it auto selects no. Ready, go. Oh, we've already fucked it up. Essentially, you have to throw it at the Toke. Let's get started. I thought that you could, like, not throw it at them, but you have to throw it at them. This isn't even a challenge. This is just giving people food. Congratulations! Take the prize! You got the scent seedling. Maybe you'll produce many seeds. So the cool thing about that is that, um... With that, you can actually... You're meant to do it in this order. Uh, because now what you can do... Is, um... You can plant that seedling. And now, uh... When you go into the future, you'll be able to get the scent seeds. Which means that you'll be able to get everything but the shovel uh, for the rest of the adventure until you get, you know, your mystery seeds. This is where our precious tree nursery, uh, nursery. They say a scent seed was planted here long ago. If I had a seedling, I'd plant it here. Hey, isn't that a scent seedling? Let's plant it. Huh? What's wrong? It's not like it's gonna get big right away. It takes a long time for a seed to become a tree. Don't worry. I'll take care of it, so come back after a long, long time. I love the humor of these cute lizard friends. Like, yeah, fucking, it takes time for a tree to grow, man. <laughs> Just come back in a time. I love how they call things the wrong name. This is called a hoop. And this is just, like, this is a rock's feather, so honestly, that's fair. But, like, they call the fucking power bracelet a hoop. 
Which is a hoot and a holler, if you ask me. But yeah, essentially now, we've done part one. Of, there's kind of like three parts, I, would, I guess you could say, for this. Part one is just being able to get the seedling. Part two is going into the future. I guess it, in that case, there's four parts. Because you also need to... Um, there's a few things... Oh. There's a few general things you need to be able to do. Hey, you're the one who I, uh, I'm glad you claim. I thought I should. Hi, I mean, I should go give this back to you here. That's all I picked up. But maybe some other people sh stole other shit. So we now have the ability to swim, which is significant because it means that we can finally cl clear that cave, uh, which we will do in this episode. Uh, I want to get to essentially the point where we should be able to get into the dungeon next episode. So I'm okay with making the ep episodes a little bit longer, just in case. Um, so you have to you have to make sure to get your item back first um, to do this. Because uh, if not, it's just like, well, you can't do another trade if you've already traded something. Which is cool, because it means that they actually kind of like the shovel. They think it's interesting. Which, it, which makes it nicer, because it's like, oh, well, the shovel actually has meaning, I guess. Okay. If only you could come out of the water and push a pot. You always want to have your sword on B, because the A but Oh, I think you can't actually do this. Yeah, no, it requires you to have the ability to jump. Damn, that's crazy. Well, we'll go back up, and uh, I will think about it for a little bit, have some food, and then, uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. I hope you liked the big joke I did. Uh, and yeah, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Goodbye.